Okay, the first player we chose was a goalkeeper, uh, Igor Akin 5. I think that's how you say his name, from uh, CSK in Moscow. As you can see, his stats are pretty decent. I mean, he's like 6 foot 1, which is okay for a keeper. Uh, the traditional save, save techniques are a bit weird. Acrobatic seems. I mean, you look at the likes of Marchetti, or, and you see his height, and you think, okay, but then you see acrobatic. It seems to get them on the floor quicker when they're diving for the ball for some reason or other. But yeah, that's a, it's a good hidden trick. If a keeper's got acrobatics, then you know he's going to be a good keeper with decent stats. Ah, here we go. Benoit Angwa. Sure, many of you know who he is. If you don't, then check his foothead page. He's pretty much a legend with his card and his stats. And as you can see, he's. I've gone through the base stats you can see on his card, but I've also picked out some of his hidden. He's got sexy. You can see 72 interceptions. Just great work rates for that sort of player. I know he's he's not the tallest, but and he's not that strong, but he seems to get the foot in when it matters. The next up for the defence, I chose uh, Salvatore Bocchetti. I think I've gotten the name right. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty what you call a non-rare OP or whatever you want to call him. But he used to be a good partnership with um, Hubbacan last year, but he switched to left back now, so there's not many people use him. But he used to be a good pairing, but he still seems pretty, you know, overpowered. I mean, he's got like 80, 80 odd jump in there. Uh, 82 stand tackle. When I was using him, I noticed that he never really went forward. Even if I was using custom tactics to, you know, close people down, that he never really went forward. And he's a really solid player. And Alright, I should probably apologise if I get the names wrong. It's because the names of this team are ridiculous to pronounce. So, <laughs> right. We have, I think it's Serdar Taski. He plays for Sparta and Moscow. Green link with um, uh, Bushetti, as you've seen. I just talked about then I mean he's he, Tasky he's, he's okay he's, he's one of them everyone's got in a squad that they, they you know they, they're there to fill a gap to get a link I mean nobody you don't really want to use him but you know you got no choice but you did in this squad as you can see if he was a silver he'd have brilliant stats but he's gold non rare and he's got high 70s which are okay in most things uh, this guy was weird a weird find it was, I think his name's Siad Kolasinak uh, I was just searching out, um, I was building a Korean hybrid before and I was searching out looking for, and I found their left back, uh, players in the Bundesliga, you know, to link with Ho and stuff. And then I found this guy with his work rate, so I was just searching out someone who can sit back and defend instead of going forward, and this guy is amazing. I mean, I wasn't expecting that much from him, but he's one of them that you sit, you see him on the wing, I mean, he, he had the fast players up against him a lot on the wings, and Right, this is one of the key players I chose to the left mid, and the right mid was the main reason I built this team. Ivan Perisic, oh, what can you say? Um, nothing that the stats don't already show. I mean, 70th finishing, you look and you think, okay, this player's high, but like, he's not, I wouldn't say he's discard price, he's not 350, but he's not the price of Royce who's always going to get picked because of his pace, which is fair enough because he's a decent player. But if you want someone cheap, this guy is. Wow, I don't know, he's something about him. Um, oh god, how do you say this? Like, Ja Choil Ku, I think his name is. I don't remember him from last year, but I was when I was. He's one of them squad fillers again, like Kolasinak, um, Tasky was at the back. I mean, you know, he's six foot for a cam, his stats ain't too bad. I just didn't seem to do anything with him. I mean, I played like 12 games with the squad, and he had three assists and one goal, and I think the goal was because. The guy I was playing was one of them things where they start the game and they leave the pad and I scored a, like a fancy flick with him but I didn't record it because it didn't count to me. But right, Alberto Costa. Don't know why I said it like that. Right, this guy I uh, moved last year from the Spanish leagues, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. In the in the four five one, I prefer somebody who's more defensive. Well, he's got seventy. 70 defending, he's alright, but he's he's not the tallest. But there, you go. there, there are other options for Spartak. They've got uh, Romulo, I think, and I can't recall the other guy's name. It escapes me for some reason. Uh, Karaoke or some stupid name like that. Cariola or something. Guys, next up we have, um, oh my good god, Henrik Mikatarian. Fuck me. Uh, yeah, him. Yeah, there was a lot of hype around this guy when he first came up, um, brightly. People thought he would got the Prem, etc. Yeah. 
He ended up at Dortmund, they seem to be rebuilding. Right, so he's, you can see his card stats pretty good, his base, you know, the stats I've covered inside. He got like 82 short passing. And I'm using a 4-5-1. In a 4-5-1, I usually struggle for cams that can't pass to the striker or, you know, play nice balls in between. Yeah. Uh, 84 volleys comes in handy. I scored a few long shots with him. He's got, you know, uh, one club player trait, yeah, as you do. This is the other guy I wanted to build a squad on. Aras Osbilis, I think I say you say his name. Plays for Sparta Moscow. Like, pretty much, you could look at the squad and say it's a Bundesliga Sparta hybrid, but it's the way I had to make it, unfortunately. And you can see the stats on this guy are ridiculous. He's similar to Perisic, but. Well, there's not much difference to be honest. I mean, you know, you're not going to burn people for pace, but uh, you cut in and boom, goal. Because he's. I don't remember last year he was a silver, I think. Uh, I was disappointed to find out he'd gone up to a goal pretty much like most people do. Like Popov went up to a goal, and I was like, okay. I apologise for using this sweaty fuck, but I wanted to keep the squad cheap, and you could have had Lewandowski or. You could even have Gundogan if you really want. I mean, if you want to move to striker, you could have. If you want to make it more cheap and more unique, you could use the striker. I'm sorry, I forget his name now. The other one, the non-rare. If there's still one there, but yeah, Habamyang. As much as he is fast, I didn't find him as good as he was last year. I don't know whether it's because people see him and think, "Oh shit," and then, you know, Ultra D straight away. But I just don't know. They made him faster. You know, he is the fastest man on the planet, over 30 meters or something, daft like that. Right guys, you can see now the clips, I'm sorry about the, the shit quality of the clips and hopefully as the videos go on I'll get better. But uh, I'd like you to subscribe to the video to win the uh, chance of winning the squad and like I said I know the squad's not much but you know, it's, it's it's free. You can wait a week for the team of the year and you can still play with that or you can you know build it yourself. But uh, if you'd like to follow the, the Twitter link as well because that's where I'll be announcing it on the winner rather than doing another video. You stand at a picture for four minutes while I talk about who's won it. You know, it's it's, it's better for me to just post it up. Uh, yeah, just in case you wonder how the squad works and how it looks out. There's a picture in the background and you can see the blurry thing running through it. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, you all take care. I hope you had a great new year and I'll see you soon.